Hi, I'm Chris and you're watching The Art Spider. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make chameleons. Now you can paint the bodies if you want first. Um, the way that I taught it in my classroom was that we used intermediate colors. So we picked colors like uh, green and yellow and blended to make yellow green. And if you paint it first, it kind of looks like your chameleon is changing colors. You can do it with any color you want. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do it using only construction paper, scissors, glue, and a marker if you want. So the only couple things that you're really going to need to make your chameleon are scissors, construction paper, a pencil, and a straight edge. Um, a ruler works well. If you don't have a ruler, you can use anything that has a straight edge to it and some glue. Now the first step to doing this is to fold your paper in half. Some people like to call this the hot dog way. Now we're going to take our straight edge and we're going to go from corner to corner. If it doesn't reach exactly like mine does, that's okay. Um, just try to do it the best you can to make a straight line. And you can go to the edge. Okay. Now that we've drawn our line straight across it, what we're going to do is use our scissors and cut right along the line. I like to use a bigger pair of scissors. They just tend to do a better job of cutting. They don't leave jagged edges. Okay, now you're going to have two scraps like this. That's okay. Go ahead and just put those away. You'll use them later on. Um, and you're going to be left with something that looks like this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fold in each of these to the center. If you don't get it exact to the center, that's not a big deal. Okay, so it's going to kind of look like that. And what you're going to want to do before, um, before we glue anything, there's a line that runs down this way. You're going to want to take your scissors and about every inch or so cut down to that line. This is going to allow your chameleon to bend. Just take your time. There's no rush. If you cut a little too far, it's not a big problem. If you cut all the way through, that might be a little bit of a problem, but it's nothing tape can't fix. And you're going to cut all the way down. Um, all the way down straight to the tail. It's a little bit harder when you get down this far because the cuts are smaller. You don't have as much room to work with. But that's okay. Alright, so you're going to have the back kind of look like this if you were to unfold it all the way. We're going to take these two little wings that we had and you can pick one of the two. It doesn't matter which one of these it is. Pick one of the two, take your glue bottle, and put a little bit of glue right up at the top. We don't need a ton of glue for this. You just need enough to kind of make your, your chameleon stick together. And you're going to take this other fold, and you're going to go right over the top of it. And you're going to press down, stick your hand right inside, press down and hold. And you're going to do this for about two minutes. Alright, now what we can do to make our legs, um, I'm going to use a sharpie because sometimes, sometimes drawing with a pencil doesn't show up on the camera. You can use a pencil. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw, yeah, I'm going to make sure it's big enough. And I'm going to do kind of a clover thing for his feet. Just like that. And you're going to want to make sure your legs go down just a little further than you think they need to. Because when we cut these out, they're going to need to fold a little bit. And we're going to need to have some area for them to glue down. And I'm going to do this four times. I'm going to get four feet, two bigger, two smaller, put the bigger ones in front. I'm going to do that with the other one too. I'm going to draw my line down, draw my line down. Put 
and they don't wind up being the same size, that's not a huge problem. Remember, we're here to have fun. We're not here to to worry about a lot of these little things. There we go. Now we're going to cut them out with our scissors. For this part, sometimes it does work better to have smaller scissors. Okay, now that we have these sitting out here right in front of us, what we're going to do is work on making the head. Um, to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to fold the paper in half. Um, let's go this way. Again, fold it the, the hot dog way. And what we're going to do is fold into the center line like that. Do that again on the other side. I'll fold in. Kind of like you're making a paper airplane. And what we're going to do now is cut straight across. So right where you've got that fold. Um, it's important to keep that line as straight as you can. These two pieces are going to turn into our head. Um, we're going to cut all the way down. And we can get rid of the scraps. That's okay. We don't need those sitting out right now. And right down that center line, you can take your scissors and cut. And you're going to be left with two pieces like this. They should be about equal. Um, we're going to fold it right across, Oop. corner to corner, crease. It's going to kind of look like a kite if you're looking at it like that. All right, now the really cool, really fun part of this so all you have to do is cut straight to the center on both of them. Just on one side. Kind of looks like a frog. He's running. Um, and what we're going to do is we are going to flip it over so it looks like a pyramid and put glue on one side. Now, be careful. You don't need a lot of glue for this. Just a little bit. Just like that. And we're going to put the other side right over the top. Oh, be sure that you cut all the way into the center. And press and hold. Pinch and hold. And count to like 20 or so. Now, a lot of people think that if you use a lot of glue, it's going to hold. The problem with using a lot of glue is that it becomes really slick and slippery. It's almost like ice. And the two pieces of paper will actually slide against each other, and it really won't stick. It takes a very long time for it to dry if you have a lot of glue. So less is best. Just like that. And same thing. Pinch and hold. Count to 20 or so. A lot of people say dot, dot, not a lot. My problem with that is if you use just little dots of glue, sometimes it doesn't want to hold. I just like to do a thin line of glue. Okay, and for the next part, you're going to need a little bit of tape. We're going to put pieces right on the inside. Two is about all you're really going to need. Three is kind of pushing it. I like to use the clear tape, too. That way it doesn't show up. Um, and you're just going to put them back to back. Match them up the best you can, like that. And stick the tape right over, pinch, stick the tape over, pinch. And you've got your mouth. You can just set that off to the side, too. Now, for this part, you're going to need some red construction paper. Um, I guess you could choose any color you want. I just like to use red. It's going to be for our, our tongue. And to make the tongue, all you have to do is draw, draw a shape like that. You can make your tongue really long if you want to. It's up to you. 
just like that. And then cut it out with your scissors. And we're gonna wrap we're gonna wrap the tongue around a pencil or a marker or whatever you have. And it's gonna make the tongue roll. Be sure to pinch a little bit at the end. And it kind of gives it this look like that. If you want to roll it the other way, take the, uh, the pencil or the marker that you were using and just roll it back the other way. Just like that. And your tongue will get to be, it'll look kind of like that. Now you're going to pinch at the ends. And what we're going to do is we're going to use just a little bit of glue and put it on the inside of our mouth. Just like this. And you see where that line is right there? I'm going to put it right beneath it, just like that. Pinch, hold, count to 20. There you have the mouth. Now, the only thing we're missing right now is the eyes. We can make those really easy with a piece of white paper. It doesn't have to be construction paper, it can be plain old white paper. Uh, and to do this, you're going to draw two ovals. Just like that. And you can give them crazy eyes, you can give them cute eyes, it's up to you. I like to put two eyes right in the center. And leave just enough room in the upper corner for a little dot of white. And what that does is it makes it look like our, iguana, or our chameleon's alive. And we'll cut out the eyes. There's one. There's two. Just put our scraps off to the side. And we're going to glue them onto the side of our chameleon. Now be careful, don't put glue on your chameleon. We don't know how big the eye is otherwise. Just put it on the back of your eyeball. Put it on the side of your chameleon. Pinch, hold, count to 20. And flip it over to the other side. Put a little glue on the back. Just a little bit. We'll stick it on this side. Pinch, hold, count to 20. So it'll look something kind of like that. There we go. We've got our head. Now the next part, we're going to attach our head to our body. Alright, you're going to have these two little tabs at the bottom here. It's very important that you fold them up. You can do that by folding them forward or backwards. It doesn't really matter. And what's going to happen is that we're going to glue these tabs to the back of our head. Now this is probably the hardest part. We're going to put just a little bit of glue. Just a little bit. And we're going to take the lower part of the head, so the one where the tongue was glued to, and we're going to glue it to the back like this. We're just going to pinch and hold. For this part, I like to pinch and hold for like two minutes or so. It just it gives the glue the time it needs to dry um, and really set and harden. That way you don't bend the head and have it pop off. Put some glue on, push, hold. And once that's done drying, what we can do is we can glue our legs onto our chameleon. To do that, we're just going to stick a little bit of glue right there. 
just a little bit. We're going to pinch and hold it right there. We're going to pinch and hold. We can do that for each one of the legs. Now when you do this, you don't want to glue the legs all the way down the tail. Leave a little bit of room so that he actually has a tail. Now at this point what we can do is we can start to bend just like that, just a little bit, and it'll allow our lizard to bend with him, just like that. And there you have it. Um, hopefully yours turned out as well as mine did. I got my big one from school. I've got my little guy, my little baby right here. Um, and if you want to, you can carefully bend the body back just like this. And what it's going to do is allow it to, to bend more naturally and get kind of a curve to it. Um, you can also bend in the feet just a little bit if you want. It's very important that when you do this, you don't rush. It'll give it time to dry if you need to. Um, because if you don't let it dry, your legs will fall off. I, I wasn't very patient in my demonstration. And I had to stop several times because parts were falling off. Um, and the head, when it does dry, just push it back, pinch, and it should stay. And there you go. I'm Chris, and this was our first episode of The Art Spider. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe, like, share, uh, tell your friends.